Uh, it's time for another math easy solution. Today we're going to discuss further into improper integrals and now go over example three of the example series and solve this example which states evaluate the following integral and that's this one integral from negative infinity to infinity of one divided by one plus x squared dx. So if you recall from my earlier video, which I went over the definition of type one improper integrals, which is just this one infinite intervals, where you have an inter integral right here where it's an infinity either at the bottom or the top there, or both. So in this case, recall what we could do with this, uh, with this function here. So what we could do is to simplify it, we could write this as, or just recall the definition. If you have a, integral from negative infinity to infinity of fx dx, well you could just break it down assuming that the, the value exists, the integral exists Yeah, uh, during this interval. So if we could put this here, this value a fx dx. So basically we're just, we're just using properties of integrals to break this up into something a bit easier to handle. So this is going to be negative infinity to a and this is a to infinity of f of x dx. Because remember it's the integrals it's uh, can be interpreted as a area or the net area and we're just basically, basically separating this into two. So in our case uh, let's just pick a let a it's a is any number in between let's it let's pick a equals to zero so we have some symmetry and it's just easier and more convenient. So we pick that, so in our case, negative infinity to infinity of one over one plus x squared dx. This equals two negative infinity to zero of one over x squared, one over one plus x squared dx, plus and then zero to infinity of dx is the same thing as putting the one or, or leaving the one out. So we have this, let's just look at this first function here. This one we'll consider it second. So what we could do is, is find the integrals of both of these and then just sum it up. So this is number two. I'll do this one second because this one zero to infinity is just uh, easier to look at, easier to think about than negative infinity to zero. So let's do the first one. So we could write this zero to infinity of dx one plus x squared. Now this one, what we could do, like I showed in my earlier video, you could write this as a limit. So this is an infinite interval, we could write it as a limit of a definite integral. So t approaches infinity of zero to t dx one plus x squared. So again, dx one divided by one plus x squared, the same thing as one divided by one plus x squared, then a dx at the end. So we have this one now, and it's written as a limit, and if you recall my earlier video, this just equals to, well, the integral of this is just inverse 10 of x. So this equals to limit as t approaches infinity of, now this is gonna be inverse 10 of x, so when you evaluate, you can see the proof of this in my earlier video. Uh, basically, the derivative of inverse 10 of x is just that, and I'll put that in the video link below. So up to t. So from 0 to t, this equals 2 limit as t approaches infinity. Put the t inside. Now we're going to be dealing with a inverse 10 of t minus inverse 10 of 0. So now to evaluate this at uh, zero and t right here, let's just recall how the graph looks like. Just uh, how inverse is, let's just draw this x and y curve. Here's x, this is y. If we were to draw just regular, um, regular tan curve, so if this is y equals, um, I'll put it on the other side. This is y equals two tan of x. Yeah, actually I'll just put it on this side just to be a bit neater. So this is this curve is y equals tan of x. And and uh, it keeps going repeating. I'm just gonna draw this asymptote line. So if you recall how it looks like, this is at um, this is at x equals to pi over two. And again it repeats itself, etc. 
keeps going on and on the same exact curve and at this point right here this is negative pi over 2 so this is x equals to negative pi over 2 so it approaches it and goes down so you can see the more on this from our earlier videos on uh, inverse tan and tan trigonometric functions and now the inverse of this, uh, like I showed before, inverse function, this one, what we would do for inverse tan, we would just look at this, uh, this domain from here to here. And then what we do is reflect it on the uh, y equals x line, or basically just a reflection uh, of this function. So this one would look something like this, where we're basically inverting it so that this one here, and again, this is approaching, let's do that. This right here is y equals to inverse uh, tan of x. And I'll just erase this part. So we're not dealing with the other parts. We're just dealing with this domain. And then as you can see here, uh, when, you're, when you have this inverse tan, now w what we're doing is pretty much we're just flipping it or rotating it uh, 90 degrees or actually flipping it. Yeah, not not uh, rotating. We're actually just flipping this across y equals x line. And what we have here is the asymptote. Now it's changed so that it's y equals two. So this is y equals to negative pi over two, and then this one is y equals to pi over two. And as you can see, this is approaching pi over two here at the inverse side. So and also at the zero uh, here we have ten inverse zero equals to well zero and that basically it equals the same as for this regular tan function so putting this all together what we have now is the integral from zero to infinity of dx one plus x squared equals to yeah equals to limit as t approaches infinity of now we're just left with inverse tan of t because this one is zero. So this goes to zero. And now this one, as you can see, when you put infinity, all we're doing, we're getting closer and closer to this pi over two. Let's draw this here. So we're getting closer and closer to pi over two. So as you go to infinity, as x goes to infinity, we're just getting closer and closer. So this equals to, well, pi over two. The limit is pi over two. Now let's look at the other side. So what we have now is the second integral, which was negative infinity to, to zero of dx one plus x squared. And then this is exactly the same thing we're gonna do. This will equal to limit as t approaches negative infinity of integral from t to zero of dx one plus x squared. And similarly, we're gonna get now integral of that is just we get limit t approaches negative infinity of inverse tan of x from t to zero. And now evaluate that. We get limit t approaches negative infinity of now we have um, inverse zero minus inverse tan of t. And again, this would just equal to same exact thing. This is gonna be, so this is just tedious stuff right here, but now we put the zero, that equals to zero. So we get zero minus, now we have a minus inverse tan of t right here. And as you can see here, when you go to negative infinity of this inverse tan, it's, now we're approaching negative infinity. So as we approach negative infinity, we're just getting closer and closer to this asymptote line of pi over, of negative pi over two. So what we're doing, this limit is approaching negative uh, pi over two. So this equals two negative and then negative pi over two. So that's what it's equaling. And this equals two, well, just positive pi over two, the negatives cancel. So now what we're left with now, put this all together, the integral from negative infinity to infinity of one over uh, one plus x squared dx. This just equals two integral from negative infinity to zero of this one plus x squared dx plus, so we're just breaking this up into two. Just put this all together for completeness sake. dx one plus x squared. I'm just putting, writing this as one divided by one plus x squared and this one dx one plus 
uh, x squared, just to show it's the exact same thing. Just different ways of writing it. So this equals two, they're both pi over two, plus pi over two, so this equals two, the number pi, which is quite amazing actually, the integral, um, yeah, the integral or the area, because it's all, always positive, is gonna be, well, just equal to pi, which is quite phenomenal. So if you think about it, this function, let's just draw it out, this x, this is y curve, so at when you put in zero here, we get one divided by one plus zero, which is just one. That's just one. And then as you go to infinity on the left or right side, you're gonna be one divided by, well, this is always positive because it's squared. So it's always gonna approach zero because it's gonna be a large number. So the curve looks something like this. This keeps going down and it's symmetrical. This is the y equals to one over one plus x squared curve and since it's always positive as you can see the area as you go to infinity on the left or right side approaches well pi area equals to pi which is quite phenomenal actually so it's uh, related to a circle somehow so I'll just circle that so that's the area is equal to pi. Anyways, that's all for today. Hope you learned from this uh, pretty uh, interesting example. And like always, you could download these exact notes in the link below. And thanks for watching. And stay tuned for another math easy solution.